The X hotkey works just like V and C in terms of snapping. If you hold the X key down and the middle mouse button while something is selected, then whatever you have selected will move uh, and snap to the grid points. And that works not only in the perspective view, but of course in the orth orthographic views as well. When I looked up the exact definition of what the Y hotkey did, and I saw a non-sacred tool, basically, huh, is exactly what I said. Essentially, all it does is let you bring up the last tool that you used. So if we select something like this sheet here, and I shift right mouse button click on the surface and bring up the Sculpt Geometry tool, and then I go down and maybe move this object around, and then move this guy somewhere, and then I want to access that Sculpt Geometry tool again, all I have to do is hit the Y key, and whatever I have selected, it'll bring that back up. Uh, same thing goes for something like uh, the extrude tool. If I want to um, extrude a face, or let's say I want to cut uh, the faces, and then I want to move over to this object and grab a tool. If I hit Y, it's going to bring up that cut faces tool again. So that is the Y hot key for bringing up the non-sacred tool. So last but definitely not least is everyone's favorite hotkey, Z for undo and Shift Z for redo. Uh, I don't think this really even needs a slide because it's probably the most used hotkey in any application. And the only thing that I would mention inside of Maya that's associated with that is the preference for it that allows you to turn it off and on. So under the preferences, you can turn the undo off and on and limit the queue size. So the last hotkey that I said uh, that was last but certainly not least in the alphabet, but I mentioned the 1, 2, and 3, and I think that those are some pretty logical keys to take a quick look at. If I focus in on this object here, you can see that if I hold the 2 key down, it enters into sort of a smooth mesh proxy mode with the low res cage, 3 will enter into smooth mesh proxy, and then of course 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 will allow us to see wireframe, shaded, textured, and lit. Uh, the last one is one that I see uh, not a lot of people use because uh, of the paint effects mode, but it is it can come in handy in terms of looking at your render. If I hit the 8 hotkey, you can see that I can look at paint effect strokes as they would be rendered in the scene. So you can see in this case I've just dragged out a couple of flowers and those get rendered directly inside the viewport. Uh, and then last uh, of all the hotkeys, and certainly not least, is Alt-B and that's one that I use all the time for changing the background color. So that's it, I promise.